We're still here at Wainai Police Station. One, two, three, four. Um, after seeing um, Angela's post, I'm going to see if brother can okay. She can come and answer some questions. <clears throat> <laughs> hey, how's it going? How are you, how you doing? Very good. You probably didn't figure why we're here. We got a good reason why. Yeah. We look at you guys' safety too as well. Uh, my brother, okay, I'm Ron Lombardi, okay? There is nobody here that is contagious or potentially contagious. Yeah. That I can tell you 155%. I appreciate now, that. Now, you can obviously see yourself that there's shit going on outside, but there's nothing going on, it's state. So can I ask a question? So is it true that, that Waianae Police Station was gonna be a testing ground to have all the arrestees that show flu-like symptoms that, you know? All, I can, all I'm authorized to tell you right now is that I, I've been asked to have you people call the Public Affairs Office at 7.45 in the morning. Okay. And I can, can give you that number, bro. Sure, I'll take that number, man. No problem. By the way, I'm Koko Huahilani. I sit on the Waianae Neighborhood Board too. So. Okay, I'm Ron Lombardi and right on, I'm a healthy boy, but I live out here. Right okay. Thanks, sir. I appreciate it. I work out here. But I'll get you that number, sir. I appreciate that. No problem. Yes, sir. Hey, we're looking out for you guys' safety as well, too, you know? Oh, I, yeah, hey, we, we, I totally. We totally understand that. I wrote it on the bottom. My name is Lombardi. Like okay. a trophy. Thank you. Yeah, like, like Vince. But no. You related to him? Huh? Are you related to Vince? No, no, I can't lie. I don't lie. But uh, the phone's been blowing up, and we appreciate. Uh, uh, I'm very humble, but you guys are getting mad at me. I can't. But I understand you guys' frustration. No, I, I, yeah, I, I have no anger because I know it's not. It's not you. No. You know. I, you know. You it's, just came to work. Yeah. And what we saw. Right. Okay. And I'm is, just an officer. Is this that as a community, you know, we, we usually the narrative out here in Waianae, we usually get dumped on, you know? Yeah, yeah and, and, and our community, I, I, I'm a Miami person, and our community is very strong. So you as a leader, just keep everybody relaxed until we find out more information in the morning. But I can tell you okay. 100%, there's nobody here. Yeah, no, no arrestees came Zero. in. Zero. Appreciate that. Yeah, I would never lie about that. Thank you, Lombardi. Okay, All right, bro. So the word is, uh, Lombardi said that they no more nobody inside there. Uh, uh, well, I, I, he said he don't know, you know. So I told him, I, so I told him, I told him that you know, hey, we just looking out. For sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I will share that as well with him. But um, yeah. So he said, I uh, gave this number. I can call at 7:45 in the morning. But I, I was, I was recording him. Take that number down, bro. We'll go flood him. Hi, hi, gang. Tita, she looks here somewhere now. Hotline. Yep. Okay, <laughs> it's my tita name, Zana Aldegar, my classmate, you know, class 84. We're here. Keep your arrests and your COVID out of here. Yeah. This is not your dumping grounds anymore. You cannot do this. We are aware. We are awakened. Yeah. You cannot use this as a dumping ground no more. We're done. We're going to stand. The people are going to stand. You're not standing for us. We're going to stand for ourselves. Yeah, tita. So we are. Yeah. My man was, I thought that the arrestees that wasn't complying to the curfew, wasn't complying to staying home and being quarantined, that if they got arrested, then they were the ones that would, would be coming here. But to my understanding, it's all the, all, those, all the people on Oahu that get arrested that show flu-like symptoms, as well as, you know, uh, yeah, possible COVID symptoms. So, and they're gonna bring them over here. Yeah. I was going to bring them over here to Waianae, to our Waianae um, jail, Waianae police station, and that don't fly right with a choke of us in Waianae because, you know, we're just tired.
right? As Tito Mezana said, and you know, we on the Waianae coast. Uh, it's the narrative, right? We we carry everybody's Opala, right? And industrial waste as well, right? You know, you coming you coming into Waianae, you smelling the sewer, you know. So when this edge came to light, <laughs> hey, we activate, right? Get a bunch of us standing here because, you know, if we don't need anything, we don't maho away, we don't go out. If we need yeah. anything, everything we need is here, right here. in the coast, in the Waianae community. So, so far, so good, we hear, but you cannot be bringing those kind of right. things to keep your infections to yourself. You can go back over here. Um, this is not the norm for Waianae Police Station having these tents up over here. And Lights on, tents on. Yeah, you know, at 2 o'clock in the morning. It's not, it's not the norm, so, you know, and for those in the know that are here, the brothers, you know, everybody know, hey, that's not, that's not the normal. Once I go off my live feed, you can go watch it from the beginning, get actual me, actually, uh, get actual footage of me going inside the police station and asking the questions. Uh, and then when I came out, I see my classmate over here. My Tita. Aloha. Yeah, Tita Mezana, Aldiga. By the way, you might as well do your plug, Tita, because you know. By the way, I'm <laughs> running for District 44. As um, House as Representative. House representative. Alright, so she'll be in going up Com against incumbent Cedric Gates. Yeah, yes, yes. So she doesn't put out her candidacy when? Officially. Oh, just tonight. The, tonight. Uh, last night, earlier last night. Yeah, earlier last night. Right on, so, so you know. Because it is things. Yeah, you know, right? Fire me up, like. You guys are not gonna, you know, take your disease or flu-like symptoms and bring it here. Cause we are wine eye. We take care of our own. You know? If we no stand, who gonna stand? And you know, and I interviewed my Tita earlier tonight when I first saw her, and she was it was interesting the words that she said. She said, you know, um, while we're all asleep, things like this happen. That's true. You know, so let's be vigilant and mahalo that you know. We are here and everybody that, that yep, be makala, pay attention, yeah, makaka already. Mm -hmm. The bottom line, we just take care of each other, but we need to just be makala, always, you know, pay attention to be vigilant, and to be makaka, to be ready. Um, yeah, so, with that being said, I'm going. I'm gonna chime up for now, and if anything happens in the next couple hours, I'll go back on live. All right, guys, you guys take care. Aloha. Thank you. Love you. How we do it in Waianae? Tita Barbosa doesn't drop off. Cool off us. Or some cold drinks. You guys can make them, please come down. Uh, they're on their way. You know. We're getting plenty of support. I got Uncle James Monaco. Everybody know Uncle James Monaco. <laughs> I know Uncle James over 40 years. He's the only one who walked the Aina barefoot all over. Kanai Dodge is another one, brother. Uncle James, do you want to say your manao? Uh, I'm glad I was informed. You know, to get up early in the morning and think I thought, oh, they're going to put all the prisoners that they will go arrest. You know, they come from all over the island. Why is that? All the major hospitals, it's that way, to the east, not to the west. So, you know, I, 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 I like, I gotta give credit to the guy that bought this brain child to, uh, to, 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 to station because, wow, shame on it. Yeah. What's he trying to do to us? Is the governor or mayor mad at us? Well, anyway, my brother, I'm just glad that I, I can express myself. Thank because, you for being out the Yeah, I grabbed, uh, Glad that I was woke up 4 o'clock in the morning by my son. Told me, told me what was on Facebook and wow. And thank you guys for being here. And I wish more of our community would come out. 
because you know if they knew what we're doing i think we'd have more people yeah but if you know go on facebook brother, there's nothing you gonna know but thank you thank you uncle james yeah. this is uncle james monaco everybody the one the only uncle james monaco <laughs> proud citizen grandfather father grandfather great grandfather yes yes and i get i get number seven great for me the number seven great, great. Grandson yeah. or grandchild yeah. coming. coming yeah. We don't know yet. They, they just went go found out that they they have a five. Very good. But Lieutenant Chen had also had mentioned to Senator Miley Shimabukuro from her from her post up that Waianae Police Station was considered a quarantine site for detainees that are COVID-19 positive. All right, so you guys can go check them out on, on Miley Shimabukuro's uh, on her page, I guess. But thank you to Brother Kaiser for sending that shot to my phone. And probably like half an hour ago, I was with my classmate, Mizana. Aldigar and uh, she had a call that that eight school buses, those little school buses, the yellow ones, were passing north south road. So that was like um, right before coming towards Kapole. With eight of them, uh, windows tinted, uh, motorcycle escort, aloha, motorcycle escort and. The drivers were in full gear, and I was thinking, you know, if they're in full gear, full gear, that would be to protect them, you know, to protect them. So I just got a call from a good brother of mine in Anakule, and he's waiting, and so far, he's going to let me know not, nothing went past by, the convoy never come past them yet, so. They should have been here already. But one of the cops was talking to me earlier this morning and he was asking, you know, like I was asking him the question, like why would you, why would the risky folks, you guys are first responders and why over here? And, and I said, the only other facility would be Kapolei's, Kapolei's police station. But because Kapolei police station gets plenty, get, get way more cops over there, because if, any infected patient or any infected detainee somehow spreads the virus to a police over here in Waianae or even a couple a with the most with more cops in here then they're all gonna be on lockdown so that was that was one of the explanations that one of the police officers told me this morning and that's why that was one of the reasons why consideration why an police station is under consideration for a quarantine facility for detainees from HPD that have COVID-19. Hi, Tita. Give me bumps. Love you. Love you too. Thank you for coming. Thank you. I get my heart of via my wife's classmate, Tita. Fuck you. Fucking pissed off about this situation. You know what I mean? You fucking taking people who are fucking infected and bringing them out to our community. This really gotta stop. All the representatives, the senators, they need to be out here and freaking protecting our community. You see what Kimberly Pine said? What she said? She said for all of us to go home that she'll handle it, but you know, this is a new norm anyway. This is the new day. No more, we're gonna be idle and at home. And you know. We gotta be careful about this disease and all of that, definitely. But fuck yeah, man. We, I mean, I, I know you're gonna organize this and all of that stuff and we'll do what we can do from home and stuff like that. Just keep us in the loop. We just came to sh show support and get something to eat. We get food over there. They've been dropping off food for us too, Tita. Right on. Yeah. 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 
community don't want this. The Cipabina don't do down for freaking toxics. And now viruses? Fuck that. Exactly. We're fucking over it. So right now, so we're just waiting because we got confirmation that the convoy was on, was on its way. This is an outrage. It is. So we have the civic club leaders out here because this is our local. We gotta protect our local. Kupunas, okay. Yeah, and you guys are Kupuna as well. Aye. So mahalo. Uncle James Manaku over there holding it down. Oh, yes, I see. Uncle them. Bud Suarez over there too. Yeah, yeah, I see them. So, My goodness. They're so telling us to stay home, but everybody stay driving. We're keeping our social distancing. Everybody get face masks. You know, we get hand sanitizer. You know, we are sensitive to that, that safety and well being. But we're looking out for the safety and the well being. Uh, I don't know. I never talked to her. You want to call her, Auntie? But well, we're thinking of the well-being of everybody in Wainai. So, you know, we're getting big support from the community. But I can tell you this. If this is truly happening, And if everybody was to, you see if the, the convoy was coming over here, we get freaking 300 or 400 Kiai lining up, 200 on each side, 200 on each side. What you think? What you think gonna happen? They're gonna turn around. I mean, if you wanna. I would know for a fact if Hawaii Kaya community found out that all the detainees in HPD from all over Oahu were going to come to be quarantined in the Hawaii Kaya police station, I'm pretty much sure the community will be in up in arms. Yeah? So, no self explanatory why? Why are we doing what we're doing? We just, we gotta send a message that, hey, and everybody that over here, that we're just tired of being shed on, and why not? We get everybody's Opala on Oahu, right? We get the two municipal landfills we had, the first landfill was it by Pili Laopa when I was a kid growing up and then Waimanalo Gulch which is at its full capacity that's supposed to be going down already we get the we get the the island's only industrial waste freaking landfill right we got a freaking 600 acre of I get my niece over here no. hi Noi thank you thank you for the Kanaka crew for giving us uh, these I see beautiful on. <laughs> Face mask. Thank you for coming, Noi. You want to say something, baby? We always been the dumping grounds on the west side for everything around this whole entire island. Enough is enough already. We had enough. No more dumping here. We have the least number of COVID-19 cases. With them transferring from around the island to here, you are contaminating not only the first responders that live here in our community. But they gotta go to cause for people in this community. They could get infected and then furthermore infect their family and as, as well as us in the community. And we say no more. We're not standing for this. Ole COVID-19 in our Hawaiian night community. Yeah. Yeah. No more. We're protecting our ohanas and our kikis. Everybody here practicing their social distancing, wearing their masks. We're doing what it takes. We all get hand sanitizer. This is not just for us, but our community, yeah. our kikis, our kukunas and our first responders. Yes. We care for them too. Yo. So this is why we all here. We said no more. Not in our community. Aloha, be safe everybody. Make sure you get your sanitizers, your Lysol, your Clorox, whatever you gotta do. Keep your ohana safe. Aloha. Thank you, Noi. That's my niece, Noi. Right on, baby. Love you. Love you too, Uncle. So you guys here? Hear that voice and that concern? Right there. 
right there. Why not police station is closed temporary due to protest? It's not a protest. They keep getting that shit wrong. This is a protect, not protest. We're not here for protest. We're over here for protect. And check it out, everybody. Love we. Hey, Robert. Look at that. Nana Kuli son right there. The one, the only, the evangelist. Got a monkey boy coming along, huh? He's been with us. He came like around 2 o'clock or one, one, 1 o'clock this morning. And he's been with us. And his wife is here as well. Love you, cuz. Let's go, why not? Yes, sir. So if somebody can do that, you can get one. Firm confirmation that the convoy ain't coming, that YNI is taking off the list as a freaking, as a considered site, and that it makes no sense to bring effective detainees. Is HPD still gonna be? Transporting detainees, transporting detainees that possibly have COVID to Wainai Police Station. These are the questions that needs to be answered. We get masked. We know what we're doing out over here. But can you imagine? Because HPD was ready last night. They had the they had the white tents up last night in the back of the parking lot that was ready to process detainees. Now it's down. So can you imagine if we never show up last night? Can you imagine if we never show up last night? All I know is our love for our community. Why not? And we all know what we're doing over here. We all know the risk that we're taking over here. But we're practicing. Stop calling us protesters. We are protectors. And we're protecting our moku. This is where we lay down. This is where we're from. If all our white man, all the people never stand for Juana Niho, what do you think would have happened? They would have freaking developed over there already. If the Kia, if the Lahui never stand for Mauna Kea, Mauna Kea will be desecrated today. If the Lahui never stand for Kahuku, shit, they get them up there, but it's not working. They never go online yet, but we made on stand, Lahui. That's what I'm trying to tell you. It's time for make on stand. How you guys doing? It's time for make on stand. Where are you gonna stand? Where you gonna stay along with? And to everybody that came out and showing their support. We're gonna take a stand. I'll be here all day, all night, making sure that it, no COVID-19 comes into our into our Ahupua'a and on our side of the island. And I, I'll say yeah because a lot of them. A lot of people are, you know, putting a lot of weight on Y and I. We get PBT. We hold all of the, we hold all of the um, the rubbish from the whole island on our side of the island in Y and I, Nanakuli, Makaha, Kiavaula, all all on this side of the island. We hold all the rubbish. Kukia Y and I. I'm gonna turn the camera around. You did? Yep. Alright, guys. So, my niece Noy doesn't give me this. Uh, this is a statement from, from Police Chief Susan Ballard. Okay. <clears throat> statement on Wainai Police Station. As part, as part of the department's overall emergency response plan, we looked at how to house infectious detainees including whether to transport them to a single police facility. 
After considering different options, it has been decided to keep the detainees in the same facility. Hey, oh. Where, where they were booked until such time that the cell blocks can be retrofitted to accommodate infectious detainees. These individuals will be kept in separate cells apart from the other detainees. Appropriate precautions, including the use of PPE, right, personal protection equipment, and sanitization of the cell block and booking areas will be taken. HPD is currently working with the mayor's office to obtain federal funding to retrofit the cell block at the main station and other locations. That is great news, everybody. All right, guys. So you guys heard that news, right? So it was stated already. Chief Battery already stated. She kind of take it back. All right? So we're going to hold her to that. Love you guys, and thank you for all you guys' support. We love you guys. Aloha. We just got home probably like maybe 20 minutes ago from a very long night uh, and a long day today. But first of all, I want to give Nui ke aloha to ke akua, I mean Natupuna, for heating our and for to be able to open the pack so that which was the confirmation from Chief Ballard, Susan Ballard, saying that they're going to keep all the detainees right back at the places where they're. None of them was coming to Waianae. And that's what we was waiting for as Kia'i. And that's what we was waiting for. You know, as things got chaotic and it was it was, it was just hectic. But I want to give a big mahalo nui to Kia Kua Me Nakupuna and for all the Kia'i that would show up. Sending out, doing their due diligence online and and for the, the outpouring of Support and aloha from <clears throat> from our community members. You know, but the equalizer that they never, they wasn't banking on was the kiai that we didn't show up. We never show up. If we, they would be at our jail, okay? I mean, they had they had the tents up in the back of the parking lot. They was ready for, you know, be ready to process all these detainees that was coming in from each moku on Oahu. But mahalo kia kua. that, you know, what we did, you know, and we are responsible citizens. We are responsible members of our community that we love, Wa'enai, and we love Hawaii. He Hawaii of Mawa Mau. I just wanted for mahalo everybody out there that doing their part. This new world that we live in, you know? Yeah. You know, and the, the true power lies within the people. So the faster we know that the power lies within us, not the governments, that everything we do, we're going to do nonviolent direct action, but we're going to do it in aloha. And in most cases, kapu aloha. Mm -hmm. right? And I was glad that we was there because in my na'au, if we never show up tonight and we never make a strong presence over there, the detainees would have been, right? So, you know, now I got to go and do my honey-do list and and go out and go rest and then go check out uh, all these other videos that will pop up. But I can say, Andrea went kick the tires and like the fires last night. And she didn't show up this morning as well. That's all I got to say about that, right? So... Kupa a kupona kuha a hell. Kuli kanu holumu la hui hawaii. My po ina ku umo i wahine lili o kalani minatupuna. And stay brown, everybody. Stay brown, and we only as, as strong as our weakest link. So we shall rise like a mighty wave. The power belongs to the people, the power lies. Within us, the people. Lahui Hawaii. Love you guys, everybody. So, 
guys, he la mai kai ya ka ko pa ka ya pa. Ke ko pu a hui ho. Aloha. Share, share, share. Aloha. And it's the statement on Wai'anae Police Station. All right. Once again, I'm going to read it again. As part of the department's, as part of the department's overall, overall emergency responses plan. Look at the love we're getting, Lahui. Look at the love we're getting. <laughs>